What's up guys, long time no see, and today I'll be teaching you how I do my everyday burnt orange makeup. I just I was watching some YouTube videos that I had made a couple years back with my youngest sister, and they were just so cringeworthy. So I decided that I want to, I've been talking about it forever, but finally do an updated everyday makeup. So back then my everyday makeup was, but I'm just gonna show you guys how I do my Everyday. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my face, just a little bit, spread it out, and then I'm going to buff it out. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. I try not to use that much foundation anyway, just because I feel like it clogs me my pores and it's like back on my skin really. I just want to try to be a little bit more natural so that's why. Um, I'm using an angled tip brush and I'm just going to use it with a brow powder. I'm just going to put a little bit under. Yes. And I'm going to brush it up. Just blend it into my brow. And I'm going to do the same for the top. Yes, bitch. Okay. And then get a gradient going. I'm gonna make it darker on the outside of my brows, just cause you know, Instagram shit. That's how I do it via the brown. So when I'm done doing that and creating the gradient, I'm going to take that brush that I did for my makeup to, or to apply the initial foundation. I'm gonna do that again. I'm just gonna take it right here. Just gonna get as close as to as I can. I like using foundation rather than a concealer just because I like keeping it, you know, again, natural looking. Yes! Make that sharp. Fuck it. Fuck it up, fuck it up. So one of the biggest issues I had when watching my old YouTube videos was that I would apply my foundation with my hands. And at the time I was like joking, like when I watched it I was like lol oh, people are gonna like call me primitive and neanderthalish. But I was just like fuck it, it works for me. But now that I'm using brushes, I'm like wow that is primitive and neanderthalish. Like no shade to anyone that does it like that, but when I was watching myself do it, I was like wow I'm applying foundation like it's a fucking moisturizer. So after I do my brows, I usually do my eyes. This is my everyday eye look, and this is when I'm too lazy to think about what I want to do. If I'm too lazy to like cut a crease or something like that, I do this. This is a very affordable palette because it was free. It was um, my birthday gift from Ulta, you know? So this is the NYX Happy Birthday Palette. It is actually really amazing. I love it because everything is warm tone. I've obviously never touched that, but Everything is very warm and will definitely look very pretty on melanin skin. So what I do is I take this one, it's like just my neutral, or I'm sorry, my transition shade. It's a neutral, it's a light neutral. I'm just gonna run it outside. It's actually a little darker than it looks on the palette. Either that or I'm just like a lot paler than I think I am. A really soft blend for my transition shade. So after that, I really like using this burnt orange kind of look. And I just place that right, right on top of my crease, basically. Because I have another color I'm putting in my crease. I just really love a burnt out eye kind of look. And then I'm gonna drag that under my eye as well. But um, yeah, so after I do my burnt out shade and blend it out, I'm gonna use this darker burnt out shade so I'm gonna put that in my crease. Yes, and blend that into the next dimension. Yes, 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 yes. And this one definitely, I'm going to drag it under my eye because this is gonna. I know a lot of people do it like after they're done with the top, but I just work on the bottom. So 
So I'm actually, due to laziness, going to take that same shade. I'm going to use it on the outer corners of my eyes. So this is a very bad habit. Don't do this, but I'm doing it because I'm lazy. And then, when you're done with that, I'm gonna use a shiny neutral shade. It's gonna be this one. I'm gonna put that on my inner corners. Yes, get that inner half. Boy. Anyway, so there. The eyes are basically done. I'm gonna put a little shiny in the middle in a second. Not in the middle, sorry, in the inner corners. But anyway, I'm gonna clean it up with this brush. The leftover foundation in there, I'm just gonna angle it up. Just gonna angle it up. Yeah. Yes. So that is my eye shadow look. So this brush that I use for my brows, I'm actually gonna use that same, like whatever's left over. I'm just gonna let it contour this. My sister says she has like a love-hate relation with contouring. She says that it looks pretty, but like she feels that it promotes a very really Eurocentric kind of look, which she's not wrong, but I, mean, I like staying with like this on myself. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to blend it out with a brush. And I did do just a little bit on this part of my nose, just because I think it looks cute. I'm going to finish my foundation just because I like to have more coverage. So I'm going to take some more. I'm just going to put it over my problematic areas. I should invest in a beauty blender, right? I really like using brushes. I guess I just die. But this is a MAC um, bronzer. It's from that, what do you call What do you call this? Star Trek. So I'm gonna take my um, bronzer. Anyway, so yeah, it's just a light bronze. So my face doesn't look like the moon anymore. This is a setting powder. I'm just gonna use it for a light bake really quick. It's actually the Ulta setting powder in a banana. And I'm gonna go along my nose bridge to cover up, you know, where I misladed my contour. I'm gonna drag it up here. There, that's, that's what I like, yes. Okay, so then we're also gonna do our cheek. And then with the leftover powder that's just in the brush, I'm just gonna go over here real quick, down my T's and on. Buff out the bronzer. There we go. So yeah. The mascara that I really like is the roller lash, my benefit. Um we're just gonna fuck up my fur my lashes real quick. which I don't know. Today I'm feeling a shiny blush. And then after that, we'll highlight. I have Japanese's um, Golden Pearl, but my favorite, which I'm trying to be sparing, is actually from this palette. It's an eyeshadow, but this shows up hella. 
I used that for um, a lot of the pictures we took in LA, but here I'm gonna use Japanesks. So I really like, this is my favorite, this is my go-to, it's my natural, my nude every day. Next lingerie, the lingerie, this one is 24 in Cabaret Show. I just feel like it's a really good nude on me. See? Yes, I do overline because your girl don't, she's not satisfied with her lips. And I am basically done. This is my everyday look. What I do after that is I use a setting spray. This one is Ulta um, Dewy, which my favorite is actually, I think it's called Radiating, or if you're, it's Radiating, Radiance. I might have overdone it just a little bit. It smells pretty coconutty, but I used this like yesterday, and I noticed that the Dewy one, it does make my skin feel a little bit tight. I don't know if that's the like formula, but the radiating with the radiance. Yeah, the radiance one does not make my skin feel tight. It's just this one. So I'm gonna have to look at that up. And I am done with my makeup. Let me do my hair really quick and I'll be right back. And yeah, so this is going to be my final look. If I'm asked to go out at night, I'll typically just add some winged liner. Let me think, what else was I gonna say? I guess this is it. Yeah, I realized that my camera was like not in proper focus for like while I was doing the video and I am not about to redo it. But yeah, this is the final video. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Um, I do find making videos pretty fun, so I'm probably gonna make another couple of them at least. Um, so feel free to subscribe, like, comment, and all that YouTuber stuff. Don't forget to follow me on the gram. Yes, follow me in the video. And uh, I will see you next time I make a video, which you're hoping to see. Let me see how long I even take to make this one.